Well, good Monday, May the 3rd to you. How's everyone doing today? I am doing well. I'm doing okay. Um, physically, I'm not doing well. I think I've overdone it on the treadmill. I've, um, you know, for those that know me, know that I've had, uh, I had endometriosis. I've had surgery to get rid of that and all of that. And if I do any strenuous exercises, it irritates, I think, the scar tissue from my endometriosis. And uh, I believe that's what I've done by working on the treadmill, working out on the treadmill. Because I do jog a little bit on there, and I don't, I just, my body was just not ready to do it. Even though it didn't hurt while I was doing it, I think it just caught up to me. So I'm going to give my body a rest, which I didn't want to do. I, because I was, finally seeing results between the intermittent fasting and doing the treadmill I was the scale was finally moving in the right direction so I was getting happy and excited and now I'm a little bummed I'm not gonna lie I'm a little bummed about it um, but I mean all I can do is let my body just chill out and then just know that I can't do that that I can't go four miles an hour because if I go four miles an hour I have to jog a little bit so I can't go above three, three and a half miles an hour because with that I can kind of walk fast. So I just have to know that. I know that now. And probably, I will never probably be able to go that high. No matter what, my body just won't let me do it. Like yoga. I love doing yoga. Um, and there's some yoga poses that I can do and that they are fine. But then a lot of the yoga, because you're using a lot of your abdomen, it irritates it. And that happened to me. A while back, I was doing yoga. I was feeling good. I started, you know, planking and doing all them other, you know, moves and stuff like that. And then it took a couple of weeks for my body to be like, mm. so it's just like, ugh, can't do yoga either. <laughs> so I just have to, I just have to resign to the fact that I can pretty much just walk, just regular old walking can't do anything really strenuous anymore so it is what it is you know what I mean you just have to adapt but um so that is what's going on so I'm a little bit in pain today I did get my powerful pack though and I will be doing probably go live with that tomorrow and do a live stream with that um and today I don't know quite if I'm going to work on anything or not today because, like I said, it's kind of, it's like 120. Uh, right now, I'm just, I'm in pain and I need to eat so that I can take something for the pain. Take some ibuprofen. Try not to do that either because that affects my stomach. And, you know, so, yeah. But, oh! Oh, 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 I should bring it in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you uh, what I did Saturday. I'm gonna go get it. I will be right back. Okay, so Saturday, I went ahead and because it's, you know, warm now and did my journal covers, right? Look at this side. Isn't that so cool? The only thing is, I don't think my desk or what I did it on is quite level because it pulled up on the same spot on both of them which is the lower right hand side so but but I'm pretty sure that I can take a file and file it down um, but isn't it pretty I was just testing out which um, you know like like I really like that would be like this so that's the front side and then that's what you would see when you opened it kind of thing and then this one just has the blue in it with the same glitter in it purple and the unicorn but isn't it cute so I want to start working on these I'm making a journal but like I said I'm gonna have to file this and I don't know if I can but I'm gonna try with my Dremel so yeah yeah I will give a better well here 
Isn't it pretty? I just love it. I think it turned out pretty cool. So, but yeah, I'm hoping I can get it filed down and then just the blue. Cool. I like it. <laughs> so, now that I got that, and I think I'll do some like this. I have that because I think that's cool. And I might put vinyl on it that maybe says like create up this way. I like that, you know. Put some vinyl on it. And then probably make some that has flowers in it, maybe. It's not very thick though, so I don't know if I can get any flowers in it, to be honest. Because with flowers you have to do two layers and I just don't think it's thick enough to do two layers but yeah can't wait and then I think I am gonna do journals um, with the chipboard uh, and yeah I think that'd be cool to do so have lots of things planned if I can just get to them. <laughs> Alright, uh, so I'm not sure, like I said, what I'm going to do today. I just, I need to eat. I haven't ate yet. It's like 1.30. And it's cool. And hope I don't get swept away by a tornado. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Well, I will talk to you later. Um, and I hope you have a good day. Good Tuesday, May the 4th, be with you. How's everyone doing today? I have my May the Fur be with you. <laughs> my vet, she had these shirts and I got them a couple of years ago. <laughs> I think it's funny. So, how's everybody doing? I'm doing okay. Um, Okay, so the dinner I made yesterday was the Parmesan chicken Parmesan casserole. Barry and Amanda liked it. I, it was okay. It just, I don't know, it missed something. And I, I put a lot of seasonings. I did a little bit more to it than what it called for. Um, so I don't know. It might, I think the breadcrumbs is what kind of threw it off for me. Uh, cause you put a bread, you know, uh, they called for panko, but I was like, Hmm. Usually with Parmesan, you use breadcrumbs, you know. So maybe next time I will use the panko like they suggest and go from there. But I mean, it was okay. It just lacked some kind of flavor and I don't know what it was, but it was okay. Um, and it made a lot. It made enough for dinner and lunches. So good to go on that. I've already had lunch today. I had a wrap again. Need to get back into that. Um eating light during the day I think and let's see so I cleaned out from my resin I have silicone cups so I spent probably 30 minutes cleaning those things out today that well I know they're better because they're reusable and it's not plastic that you can just throw away but man they are a pain in the booty to clean they really are um so today, um, I'm about to take y'all into the kitchen because I need to get dinner going. I'm doing the crock pot. It's called Autumn Delight, and it calls for uh, cube steak, but I'm using ground sirloin instead because the first time I made it, I used cube steak, and it just, I feel, we all felt it would be better with cube steaks. It's kind of like a Salisbury steak, so we're, I'm going to make that. It goes in the crock pot. And then I'm going to do mashed potatoes with it. And then probably just broccoli, broccoli medley or something like that uh, for vegetables to go along with it. But um, it was it was really good. It's just I, we felt like it needed more than what the, the uh, cube steak gave. Um, so I'm about to take you in there and show you uh, what I do, what I how I how I get it done. Because it is worth doing, I'm telling you. It is a very good, delicious meal. So, 
let me take you in there and then after I get that done um, I'm probably I want to open up my palette full pack and do that I'm kind of debating if I want to do that on a live stream or if I do want to just videotape that I think I'm gonna live stream it I'll see why not so I'm gonna do that and then I think I'm gonna work on the my oil painting I'm so excited about that oh and I did last night I mean this room just drives me crazy I'm gonna do a video of <laughs> the before and I'm going to I'm getting more um, more of these these things right here these little cubicles um, the these I'm gonna get they have a shelf in it now these are a few years old I got them um, probably four years ago or longer from Michaels and uh, they now have it where there is a shelf here and these are actually more adjustable so I'm gonna get a few of these I'm going to replace this right here the uh, bookshelf here um, and I think I'm gonna get another thing that has drawers because I feel like I need drawers a lot more drawers so um, yeah so but I'm going to do a video on that um, change just try to change up my space I think the thing I'm gonna buy though to replace the bookshelf will not get here till later this month I think it's gonna take a few weeks to get here but that's okay I will just wait for it but I can go ahead and get the other things from Michaels because they're available um, so yeah so I'm gonna I think before I start live streaming I'm gonna kind of come in here and kind of <laughs> there's no way I can do an inventory y'all when you see what this thing this room well you see a lot of it in the background but oh my gosh Barry is like I don't even know how you can do anything in there and I'm like it's kind of really hard I have to not think about all the mess around me <laughs> I have to just concentrate on what's on my desk and even that gets overwhelming sometimes because I'm the type of person that I do like things organized and I like things in their place and so yeah this is this is driving me almost to the point of like oh oh so but y'all will see it. I'm going to expose myself. <laughs> so, but uh, that will be in a totally separate vlog because I will do a before and after uh, situation, you know. So, let me take you into the kitchen, show you the dinner, and I will be back. Okay, let me show you what you're going to need. I have about a pound, maybe a little over a pound of uh, ground sirloin. You're gonna need one packet of the onion soup mix from Lipton's. You'll need two cans of cream of mushroom soup, and you'll need one can of cream of mushroom with roasted garlic. Um, this is almost hard to find for me. Um, I had to get it from Ingalls. Kroger does not carry it, neither did uh, Walmart. Um, so yeah. You're also going to need one onion sliced up um, and you will caramelize this. This is what takes the longest to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead though, before I do what needs to be done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to season the meat. The directions uh, doesn't tell you to do that, but you know, a good chef will always season their meat so I'm just gonna put some salt and I'm gonna put some pepper on it and I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic powder with it as well just a little I normally don't do that but and then I'm just going to mix all that together and then I'm going to just make four patties out of this. 
I like because that I think that was part of the problem with the cube steak. It was pretty thin and it just cooked overcooked way too much. Okay, so we've got the meat done. I'm going to caramelize these onions in a little bit of olive oil. It'll take about 15-20 minutes to do so. And to be honest, I really didn't know that they were in the recipe when we when I ate it the first time. So I'm going to make it again the way it says and see if there's a difference. If not, the next time I make this, I will just put the onion in with everything else and not worry about caramelizing it. Because I really, when we had it the last time, I couldn't tell a difference. So, but I'm going to try it again. So I will be back when I get that caramelized. I forgot to mention, after I uh, caramelize the onions, I'm gonna go ahead and brown these on each side, about five minutes on each side in the same um, pan as my onions. And again, I just used a little bit of olive oil in here. And I want to make sure that my eye is not too high or they end up not caramelizing and they end up frying. Ooh. I'm not going to put any salt on it either. I figured that out too. I tried to caramelize onions the other day and I put salt on it and it just fried them. So we're just going to let them sit here and do their thing. So once they're caramelized, then I will brown these. Um, on each side, five minutes on each side in the same pan uh, to get them just brown and yummy. Okay, so while we're waiting for the onions to cook, I'm gonna go ahead and add all the soups to it and a cup of water. And we're just gonna whisk all of this together. Oh my God, I just made a huge mess. No. Ugh. Gross. Oh Lordy. <laughs> That was a huge mess I did not need to create. Oh, Gina, settle down, girl, settle down. Okay, I think that's good and mixed. And then I'll be back. Okay, I let them go about four and a half minutes on each side. And then just to add a little bit better flavor, a little bit more flavor, I put a little bit of butter and then a little bit of garlic, minced garlic, and then just, you know, put that over with my spoon and now we just put them over in the crock pot I'm just gonna set that down in there and down underneath the soup mixture so that it's covered with the soup like that and now we'll take our onions and just put those on the top. But there you have it. Put the lid on it, set it on low for five to six hours. My crock pot is old, so I'm gonna go five hours on it. Um, and hopefully it'll be good and done, not too overdone like it was the last time. I might even check it at four hours just to see um, if it's done or not. So, but I will be, and this is what my plate looks like. Oh my gosh, I've already tasted the gravy. It is so good. Oh, highly, highly recommend. Oh, look at sweet freckles. Hello, sweet freckles. Oh my gosh, that's the first time you've ever acknowledged your name. <laughs> What are you doing, sweet bee? Sweet freckles. Good Cinco de Mayo to you. It's Wednesday morning. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, so how is everybody's day went yesterday? I did pretty okay. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh, the dinner was so good. I had to stop myself from going and getting more because it was oh my god it tasted so good the meat was still cooked a little bit too long and I waited four hours so I think next time I make it I'm only going to cook it for probably three 
because it's just you know when when steak meat beef when it gets too even chicken all of it it just gets dry and it's just like ooh, it's almost like sawdust <laughs> so the texture was a little off um, but much better than the cube steak so the ground beef was the way to go or ground sirloin and that's another thing sirloin is very lean so next time i might want to use ground chuck with it you know because usually like hamburgers and stuff you want like the ground chuck because you want that you want, you need some fat in it to give it good moisture and all that kind of stuff so it might have been the ground sirloin too because it is so lean <clears throat> but that's what i always buy because it is leaner so but it was really 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 good oh my gosh it was so good um so there was none left for lunch or anything usually we have leftovers for barry to take but there was none today um barry and i talked at length yesterday when he got home after working out i was like i need your help and so we measured my room, each wall and everything. And then I measured like what I wanted to keep, like my desk. And then of course I have the dimensions of the things I was going to buy uh, so that I can kind of see where I could place everything. So, cause I want to get rid of the bookcase. And then Barry was like, let's put the bookcase in the closet, which is what I did and when I had my room in the front room, I had a bookshelf in there and it worked perfectly to be able to put all my stuff on the bookshelf. And this closet has shelves in it, whereas the other closet did not. And that's why I put a bookshelf in there. But I have books in my room that I need to keep. Um, they're, you know, like my scrapbooking stuff and all that kind of stuff. So... Um, I was like, I do want to do that. And he was like, well, we just need to move that shelf up and blah, blah, blah. So I've got to get in the closet and pull things out that I feel can go into the garage um, and try to get the closet cleaned out so that we can move the shelf up and move the book shelf in. And I think I'm going to put um, at least one shelf up for right now to put like my because I have my, my scrapbooks in the closet um, and then I have other books like just up and I feel if I put them on a shelf it'd be a lot better they'll give me room to put actually stuff so I'm still debating on what new storage item to get I don't know if I'm going to need 10 drawers or are five drawers going to be enough I don't know that's what I have to decide even though I like the look I think I'll I would like the drawers because then things are hidden you know but it also depends on how deep the drawers are and I think it's pretty much the same thing that I have like somebody just came by because um, I have a drawer the one I was gonna get from Michaels um, and they're pretty deep. I mean, I have like all my stamping stuff in there, like my stamps, my ink pads and stuff. And that's another thing. I need a drawer for my stamps. I just feel like I need more drawer space. So, but I'm excited to be working on this. I just need to move things out and decide what I'm going to keep and if they can fit in drawers. Um, <clears throat> and all that good stuff. So yeah so that's what i'm going to start working on this morning and then around three i will do my watercolor challenge so um and then maybe finish my welcome bunny i just have to finish shading him and doing the detail work on him so it, he shouldn't take too much longer to do so i'll have one down and then i'll have one to go and my bunny in a pot is finally dried he is dried so i can start working on him that might have to wait till tomorrow or friday i don't know my plan today is for sure get the watercolor challenge done and then just see how i am because if i'm in a roll on doing the cleaning or not cleaning but to getting everything organized in st in parts then i'm you know I'll probably not want to stop, but I will because I don't want to miss a week of the challenge. So, but yeah, so that is what's going on with me today. 
So I'm going to be a busy little bee. And I am going, like I said, I am recording a vlog about my room. So I will for sure be vlogging that because um, that will be a separate vlog altogether. The before and after of my room. So I'm excited about that. Thanks. All right. Well, I am going to get busy. I need to get going. It's already late enough in the morning. I kind of, again, just nerded out and was watching stupid TikTok. I swear, I gotta get that app off my, I gotta get it off my phone. It sucks so much time. You're just like, it's just 30 minutes and it turns out to be like an hour. And you're like, oh my gosh, an hour and a half, you know? Ah, so, anyway. All right, y'all. I'm gonna let you go. Well, good Friday, May the 7th to you. How's everybody doing? I'm doing well. I had a okay day yesterday. Had a really busy day yesterday, actually. Didn't do any vlogging or anything. Um, I Amanda had an eye doctor's appointment. She it's the first time she's used this eye doctor. This is the eye doctor Barry and I went to. We really, really like them. Really nice. And so she didn't really know how to get there. Plus, uh, the eye where you get your glasses are in the same area and. The girl that does it is just fine. She just puts down what you want, right? But then I think he's the manager. He came over when it was burying me and just, he was like a used car salesman, right? He was, kept trying to upsell, upsell, upsell. It was crazy. We were there way longer than we needed to be because we had to keep telling him, mm, no, that's okay. Mm, no, that's all right, you know. <laughs> I mean, he was trying to be helpful in everything, but it was a little aggressive, you know what I mean? So I was afraid that that might happen to Amanda and she's not very good with confrontation. She's actually not had to deal with it a lot, you know, yet in her life. And I just didn't want her to come out that she could pay $200 for a pair of glasses because you know her insurance has not started yet, but she really needs her glasses. Um, opposed to a $700 pair of glasses. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. So I was just like, I'll go take you. I won't get involved though, because you need to handle this. You need to learn to, to have a voice. But if you start to feel overwhelmed, if you know, because I was so afraid this dude was just gonna hijack like he did before. And I said, just tell, just say, what do you think? And that will be my cue to jump in, you know? And so, but luckily the dude did not come out and it was the same girl and she just was like, okay, you want this? Yeah, that sounds good. This, yeah, yeah, you need this and that, that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Took all the five minutes to get her glasses. <laughs> so, uh, so they're ready to be ordered, ready to go. Hopefully she'll get them by Wednesday of next week. Um, so I did that. Her appointment was in the morning and then we ate a little bit. Uh, and then I went to Target and Michael's to get the stuff for my store. I got a bookshelf and I got a couple of drawers. But you will see that if you watch my makeover vlog that I'm doing. And just bought the storage bins and stuff that I needed. So I was gone a few hours. And then when I got home, I started laundry. Thursday is laundry day and I didn't want to not do my laundry because I don't want to have to do a lot of laundry, you know, uh, once a week. If you do it once a week, it don't pile up on you. And uh, then just put all three things together and it took all day. I think I got done probably 5.30 maybe with them. And then I needed to, you know, uh, I was still doing laundry, and then I started dinner, and I made a pretty good dinner. Instead of making bang bang shrimp, I ended up just making shrimp alfredo because I just needed something quick and simple. And if you want anything that's really fast to make, shrimp is it because shrimp only takes a couple of minutes to cook, and then they're done. But I just put some olive oil and some butter in a pan put the shrimp in there, salt, and I put a little Cajun pepper in, just a little bit, just give it a little kick. And I then put some garlic, minced garlic in it, just cooked it up till it was done. I took the shrimp out of the pan, put some half and half in there, and let that start to, you know, thicken up, and then put some Parmesan cheese, and put the shrimp back in. I made the pasta, uh, it's fresh pasta, fettuccine pasta. Uh, so that only takes a couple of minutes to cook. 
put all that in there and it was really good i don't know what it is anytime that i just throw something together where i don't have a plan going in and i'm just like i'm just going to do this because it'll be fast it always tastes so good so go figure but it was really good so i had that and then just chilled for a little bit and then it was time to go to bed um well it was 10 o'clock and critical role came on and i I didn't even make it an hour and a half into it, and I think I was just nodding out, so I just went to sleep. So, I'm going to have to catch the rerun on that, but yeah. I had weird dreams all night. I mean, weird dreams, like almost uh, like nightmare dreams. They were just so real and so weird. Uh, it was just really weird, and so I didn't sleep like very well but i got up around nine o'clock nine thirty and then took a shower and that's why i look like i do because my hair is naturally drying i'm letting it air dry today i'm not going to put any heat on it uh, i didn't put any product in it except for a little bit of my lush r b in it to kind of keep the fl the little frizzy flyaways from happening with it but uh, yeah this is what my hair is going to look like i need a haircut my bangs are getting, I don't like them really this long, but they're getting, they're getting pretty long and I don't, I don't like them that long really, but, um, so today my plan is I'm going to get something to eat. I think I'm just going to eat the leftover, uh, Parmesan chicken casserole from the other night and then I'm going to start on my room and I'm just going to start taking stuff out of there. Oh, this is going to be an all day thing too. <laughs> So, and I still have to edit this vlog. So, but I'll probably do that tonight when I'm just trying to chill. Barry's off tomorrow. So, we hopefully will get my room all set up tomorrow. So, my uh, video schedule will not be interrupted too much. And I can get back to live streaming on Monday. So, but yeah. So, that's been all that's happened in my little world these last few days. So, I've been just busy, 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 busy. So, yeah, well, I hope you've had a great week, and I appreciate you watching the video so much. Be looking out for my makeover, because I think you're going to be really surprised at how, I'm very embarrassed how my room actually looks, and how it looked. I really am, and I'm just hoping for the miracle of the aftermath of it, um, because it was quite is very cluttered oh my gosh so i'm hoping that this is going to help with that but anyway all right y'all thanks so much for watching i appreciate it y'all have a great weekend and i will talk to you on monday y'all be good to one another all right i'll talk to you later